Right, we're in Lalande de Pomerol, as an appellation, 2010, the Chateau Haute Sajet. We didn't do the nine because we couldn't get any. We did the eight, which was looking pretty smart. I think we did about half a pallet on the last offer about nine months ago, or ten months ago. So I haven't seen a lot of ten Bordeaux yet, um, mainly because I'm having such a good time with the nines. Um, generally speaking, I think we're going to find that nine is more forward, more aromatic, more full on, I guess, um, as a vintage compared to eight or ten. I think ten is going to be a little bit more restrained, and certainly that what the pros are saying is that uh, they're getting those sort of components out of it um, at this stage in, in, in the vintage progression. Definitely structured, formulaic, definitely lifting. Um, it's obviously a predominantly Merlot um, wine. Nice toasts and oak components that are there but not screaming at you, um, which is encouraging. Beautiful powdery tannin. That are, it's, it's there, it's dominant. When I think of what the eights and nines from this sub from this appellation, we're definitely not showing this kind of tannic structure at this stage. Um, that's by no means a bad thing. It probably means we need to put this down and let it, let it think, think about itself for a while. Uh, we're going to go back to it in about six months and see how it looks. For now, again, it looks like, like something else we looked at earlier tonight. It's on the right track. The, the basic framework is there. It needs a bit of time to catch its breath. Um, but yeah, it's looking like it's going to be quite exceptional. Um, and it's, it's a wine which I think we do around about the mid-40s or something like that, which is kind of rare for this quality level, I think. So, so far, not sure yet, but it's looking okay. Cheers.